Now, beloved within the seven heaven is church. Beloved within the seven heaven is church. This is a very urgent, urgent message. A very urgent, urgent message called the close of probation for the seven heaven is church. The close of probation for the seven heaven is church. The sons of law here through the back door through climate laws. Sons of law already here through the back door through climate laws. Now, beloved in the Adventist church, um, here recently, Officer Gerald Johnson came out with a video saying that March 10th is uh, the close of basin for the Adventist church due to some of his findings of a previous video that he heard from Pastor Arthur Branner. And he played a Jamaican lady talking about we need to get our house in order because this is the time to get our house in order within one to two business days of the of today or today or yesterday of that of initial warning. Now I would like to delineate to my friends here on YouTube and Facebook my understanding of where he was getting at on that point. Kind of break down some of the history of this message he given from David Gates and Arthur Man when he first gave it. And break down how it's relevant today to the Coles Basin for the Adventist Church, what he was stating, and some further understandings of what David Gates said from his understanding of the Coles Basin of the Adventist Church and the um, leadership in the Adventist Church. Now, beloved, many people in the church reject the notion of the Coles Basin for the church because, the, as Dave expressed to me, people can have a, have a chance to get it right like a thief on the cross on their deathbeds. And, and, and is this true? Doesn't Sister White say that in these last days, if we're not overcoming sin, putting sin out of our life, and accepting heresy, and we're accepting heresy, that it's too late for us to get it right with God? Doesn't Sister White say that in her writings? Many Adventists today think that they're going to have a deathbed thief on the cross confession and still be able to have a chance to get right with God at the last minute. And that's not true. The Bible and the Spirit of Prophecy does not endorse or support that theory, beloved. But that's what I've heard from some of the brethren in the Adventist Church, and some of them even stated that we don't know if race is closed according to them, according to Greg controversy, because Greg controversy states a statement that um, we're not going to know when race closes for the church. But that's also a misunderstood statement. Because according to another statement in the Bible in the Spirit of Prophecy, probation closes for the church before the sons of law crisis. And after the sons of law crisis, that's when probation is open for the apostate Protestant evangelical churches up until the seven last plagues, when the loud cry goes out to them from those who remain within the seven day Adventist church and the true and faithful, um, or in the seven day Adventist truth, even while being disfellowship from the brethren because they stand for truth. Now, beloved in the Adventist Church, think with me for a second. Think with me for a second, beloved in the Adventist Church. When it comes to the truth, okay? When it comes to the truth, beloved. Um, in these last days, we must have our, our lamps trimmed and burning so our Lord can take us in, in these last days home with Him. Now, beloved, think with me on this one point. I was thinking about this early with the, earlier with the friend today. Now, Climate action now was signed in the Congress spring 2019, right after the time that David Gates came out with a sermon, even at the door in fall 2018, saying something could happen spring 2019. That's a climate law. That's a son's law, but it's on the books, just not enforceable. And then what he said in the sermon is he said, if something doesn't happen spring 2019 with uh, um, loss of life legislation, he said, praise the Lord. He said, Praise the Lord. But I don't want to make that assumption. What happened in, in the very next year, spring 2020, March 2020, what happened? COVID-19 popped off and there was much loss of life. There was uh, travel bans. You couldn't travel out of your state to other states as easily without, without being tested for COVID and having checkpoints, beloved. You couldn't have freedom of speech to speak on social media platforms about it because Bill Gates would have, would have said you were attacking the government on like Facebook and YouTube. You couldn't assemble in large crowds in churches by a lot of these Democratic state governors who are supporting this pandemic, who had a very um, new world order, socialistic, fascist agenda to stop 
Christian viewpoints on the health reform and um, and um, and and church attendance, beloved in the Adventist Church, and and trying to reach the situation by prayer, fasting, Bible study, and preaching in the community. Now, beloved, this must not be done. This must not be done. Now, you know what? What happened in spring 2021? Well, in spring 2021. We when right in the, in the winter of spring 2020, right before the spring in March 20th, 2021, um, the Paris Climate Accord was signed by Pope by uh, Joe Biden, who's by the way a Catholic, who supports Pope Francis Laudato Si on the Paris Climate Accord, and now he's asking for you to get stimulus checks in this country. But what is the back burner? It's not going to come without a price. You're not going to be able to get your stimulus checks unless you. Um, get your injection that has, been, that has pork, um, Moderna pork inside of it. If you're an Adventist, you can't get pork in your bloodstream. So it's an image of the beast on the health crisis. This is why it says in Council of Health, page 506 to 508, it says, As religious aggression diverse to our nation, Adventists become intelligent to diseases, causes, it's mentioned as cured, and they shall find a work anywhere. Now, beloved, that's, that, this must not be done. We should not be forced to get injections against their conscience and putting unclean meat in their bloodstream just to get stimulus checks, which leads to a Sunday law legislation. That's the that's Sunday of law through the back door, beloved. That's the image of the beast. So that's what's happening with that. And then the sermon that my friend put out um, about March 10th, March 10th could be the closest basis for the Adventist church. From that standpoint, even though I believe it's going to fully close by lead by members who endorse apostasy spring 2022, like David Gates stated, I believe that's the that's the initial sign. But I believe the message given by uh, uh, my friend Gerald Johnson on the issue was like the 1843 uh, date that the Millerites gave right before fall 20, right before fall 1844, and um, October 2844 to test the sincerity of God's people. So, beloved, get ready. This is the gathering and scattering. We're in the 2520 scattering of God's people. The gathering was in 1844 of his people as a church. The scattering was in, in 70 AD when, the, when, when Jerusalem, the, Jew, the Jewish church was scattered by persecution of the Romans in their country. When they came into the uh, Israel and, 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 and hacked up the, um, the, the temple. Well, they're coming into the cities, beloved, and they're going to hack up these seven day Adventist Jerusalem centers like Oakwood University, Andrews University, Southern University. You see how Andrews closed down um, spring 2019 or spring 2020, sorry, COVID-19, when they had the checkpoints for traveling and when um, the initial stop of the other cities. And so the, the people that close their eyes in Zion that says, my Lord delayeth is coming. Pray for them, beloved. They can receive the soul of God, not the mark of the beast. Most congregating Father, please save you in the kingdom, let the lost one. Please do let them read the Bible and the split prophecy. Please let them not be deceived by the Antichrist and, and Joe Biden's administration and receiving these uh, stimulus checks and these um, injections just to get the mark of the beast. Because we're coming to a time when you can't buy and sell unless you have the mark of the beast. In Jesus Christ, my prayer, man. Mary Natha, God bless you, family.